Hello everybody, how are you? I just wanted to do a quick video. I'm getting ready to take a shower and go to bed early because I have to get up and go to that appointment tomorrow at the cardiologist. Uh, for those of you that weren't on my live chat or didn't hear, they told me that I have previously had a heart attack and now they're saying there's something wrong with the nodes in my heart or something, I don't know. Plus, still have the stomach issues going on, so we'll address that issue later. And, I don't know. I can tell you, uh, honestly, I'm a little nervous, you know. I mean, I kind of want to hear it and kind of don't want to hear it. But anyways, it's not going to stop me from going to sleep tonight or, or saying my prayers and... Um, and Denny, what did they tell you? They said that I uh, have emphysema. I have emphysema. I have a mass in my lung and two or three other little spots. And uh, they think that's cancer and that I'm a di uh, borderline diabetic. But other than that, I'm in great shape. <laughs> they found a lump under his arm. Well, we're gonna try to get him that tested, uh, but he's refusing, you know, if they do find out that he's got cancer, Lord willing, we're gonna pray against that one. But if they find out he does have lung cancer, he's not gonna have any treatments done. He's already said that. Which I understand, and I hope you all do understand that too, because the the treatment for that is not even, you don't even have a, I don't think it's even 30%, so I'm going to do the treatment that I know here for him in the event that comes back to biopsy underneath his arm. Uh, if that is part of it and it comes back as cancer, then, then we are going to do the natural stuff that I know to do for cancer for him. But like I said, we don't know anything yet. Uh, Tomorrow starts the testing. I will try to keep everybody informed. Um, I talked to a couple people this week and like I did on my last live chat, I felt really, I know y'all, you know, think it's pride. Some of y'all think it's pride, but honestly, those of you that know me and know that everything that we have been through over the past, you know, four years, basically, it's been, you know, uh, pr it's been pretty rough, but y'all have been there by our side. You know, you've prayed for us. You've helped us out, you know, financially, uh, phone calls, emails, text messages, you know, you are our, our YouTube family, you know, and I've been told that, that I shouldn't keep things to myself that, you know, people want to know. And I know that quite a few have been asking, you know, that why I haven't been live and, it hasn't been because, you know, I don't want to go live. It's because, like I said on my last live chat, you know, I'm just kind of inundated with all the stuff that's been going on and trying to work very hard, you know, up until I got sick to try to get us to a better position. So when I do talk to you guys, you know, maybe I'm able to help somebody else, you know, or, uh, or be able to go live and, you know, we go back to our, our prayer time and stuff like that because I miss that tremendously. But now that we're in this position, you know, and like I said, it's been six weeks since I've worked, you know, uh, a couple of people that have talked to me got upset and said, you know, look, there's people out there that want to help, want to know, that love me and love Denny, and I'm not giving, I'm not telling everybody what's going on, which isn't fair, and I apologize for that. I sincerely apologize for that, but I don't, I don't think of it as prideful. I just think of it as everybody is going through enough of their own they don't need anything added to and the world right now especially here people can't afford to buy gas they can't afford to buy food you know who who wants to get online and tell people you know that you're struggling you know me better than that so i'm sorry i apologize but we are severely struggling you know i, I like i said i haven't been working six weeks and uh, here comes the end of the month where all the bills are due and, and I cannot pay them. And I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to say I'm not going to. I didn't want to get online and say, hey guys, you know, I need some financial help. 
you know, I did get uh, some help the other day uh, when I went live right after the one for Linda and, you know, Linda Arnold. And thank you for the people that, that uh, sent some love my way, you know, our way. And I appreciate that greatly. Um, but we are in trouble, you know. Um, my daughter-in-law is the only one working right now. And she is busting her butt working every single hour she possibly can to help out. Um, but they also have an attorney that they have to pay for $200 a month, which is what basically her paychecks are paying for. So we're kind of in a bind, you know. Um, and I hate to tell you all that because I'd much rather just sit here and talk about the big guys or talk about, you know, prayer requests or just talk about the weather or the natural stuff, which I will, by the way, when we start, regardless of what Denny's outcome is with his biopsy, I will keep you guys informed and let you know everything that's going on because I've found quite a few places where in the event it is lung cancer, which I'm praying against, but in the event it is, there have been many people that have been cured of lung cancer. So I'm I'm praising God that he has given me that knowledge, you know, and, and I will keep you guys informed as far as that's concerned. Now, like I said, uh, Duke called me today. That's the second phone call that I've had in the past couple of days. No, actually, that is the fifth phone call I've had in the past week <laughs> from people telling me that... Um, that you guys care and that we are loved and that people need to know that we are in trouble and it's financial trouble so like I said I'm going to take my shower and I'm going to go to bed get up tomorrow morning say my prayers head to the doctor's appointment get the car the car um Dang, echo. I'm going to get my echocardiogram done. Then they're going to attach me to a halter monitor. I'll find out what the echo says tomorrow because I'm going to ask them for the answer because I'm going to the cardiologist and he's doing it there. So I know for a fact I can get the answer. And then coupled with the halter monitor that should tell them exactly when or how often. And I guess that's, you know, I'll, I'll find, figure out about that. Now, Denny's uh, first appointment will be next week. And I'm hoping, like I said, he gets the biopsy done underneath his arm. And that'll tell us, you know, what's going on there. If there's no cancer markers or there's no cancer and it's just a, a swollen lymph node or something, that's that's great news because we can go from there. I mean, that's perfect. That uh, It's not good, but, you know, I mean, to me, it'd be, I'll be yippity, you know, jumping around. You know, like a child. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. Then I won't have to take the horse pills. <laughs> yeah, who likes taking horse pills? But anyway, <laughs> that's my, uh, I guess, like I said, I've kind of gotten yelled at, you know, by a few people. Not really yelled at, I take that back. They're gently pushing me to um, to let everybody know because it's not fair to let people know. But I'm not used to, you know, I, I don't do well getting sick. You know, I, I don't I do not do well with any of this kind of stuff. You know me, I'm always working. I'm always running around. I'm always getting things done. You know, I want to try to help as many people as I can. And I know God was blessing us, so I was able to bless other people. And I was in my glory. And then the bottom fell out. So, yeah. You all know where my PayPal is. If the Lord leads you to do it, then fine. We appreciate it more than you can ever and imagine. If he doesn't, we still appreciate you. That's we right. And if he doesn't much. lay it on your heart to help, but he does lay it on your heart to pray, then trust me. We'll you know, take the prayers. We'll take the prayers. Because <laughs> we serve an awesome God. And I, I, could go, I could go in there tomorrow, and then he can go in there next week, and they can say, we don't find nothing. You know, there ain't nothing wrong. Everything is fine. We've been healed. I mean, it has happened before. So, like I said, I'm not, I'm not so scared about it, you know. Um, yeah, I'm, whatever. I don't even know what to say anymore. I just want to be happy. You know, I just want to go back to being happy. My biggest 
disappointment is the possibility that I won't be able to get my picture on a Smucker's jelly jar. <laughs> we have to live to 100. And one. If you want to live to 101, so be it, you know. I hope and pray I don't live to be 101 because I don't want to be 101. <laughs> of course, I don't want to, uh, you know, speed it up and go tomorrow, but, but you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I think it might be fun to be 100 years old and get your face on a Smucker's jar, but does, who buys Smucker's anymore? Anybody? I do. Oh, well, you do? Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> so, I'm asking for your prayers tonight big time. I'm asking you to please pray with us and be in agreement um, for the testing. Um, I'm asking the Lord to go before us, for both of us, for our testing that we have uh, good news. I'm asking you also, if you would, to pray for Carol, you know, Bill and Carol. Uh, yes. Carol's in the hospital again, and uh, she's very weak. Uh, we don't know exactly what it is yet, but I'm trying to keep in touch with Bill. Um, the I, I imagine that the November, I mean, the October camp out here is probably gonna be canceled uh, between you know, the health stuff going on, and if I do get a clean bill of health, I'm going to have to scramble to try to, you know, uh, get caught up again and get things done because we still have broken water pipes from last year that have not been replaced. Of course, we don't have any water right now, so that, you know, that may not do anything. It won't break again, you know, because there's no water in it, but I'm praying for rain so we do get some more water. There's just a lot of things going on, just tons of stuff that's going on. And I know it doesn't touch probably some of the other things that are happening in y'all's lives. And this might sound very petty to you, but, and for that, I apologize. I don't mean to sound petty with our problems, but, uh, like I said, you are my YouTube family and I love every one of you. You know, I pray for you all the time and I'm just asking for your prayers. I was going to go to my rich uncle, but unfortunately, I outlived them all. Danny, you're so bad. <laughs> you listening to him? My goodness. I'm the, I'm the last of the Mohegans. Yeah, I think I told you guys that Danny lost his, uh, his nephew last week, and the funeral was today, and we couldn't even go. Um, Didn't have the gas money or tires. Yeah, uh, they did fix the... the the uh, rear seal on the truck, the um, dealership did because they knew they were in the wrong there. So they did fix that, but they told me uh, quite emphatically that I needed new tires for the truck, which y'all know cost a fortune. I'm not asking for money for the truck tires. You know, uh, what I am asking for, if you can bless us with anything, is to help just with the bills. I'm not worried about anything else. You know, I'm trusting the Lord to get us through. And I'm trusting the Lord for this too. So if he does not lay it on your heart to do anything, do not feel guilty. Do yes, not feel do bad not feel at all. That's one of the reasons I don't ask. Honestly, that's the truth. As God is my witness, that's one of the reasons I don't ask. I don't want anybody feeling guilty because they can't help. Your prayers are more help your than you can possibly. Because God, God, God hears every single prayer. So he will find a way. So if you cannot, then ask for, just pray for us. And the Lord will open the door somehow to get us help through, which, you know, he always has. So again, I'm going to bed. Hopefully, Lord willing, go to sleep. My mind is just going haywire. I wanted desperately to go live tonight. But I don't want to do the same thing that happened the other night. You know, I've already got chest pain tonight, so I just want to kind of take my shower, go to bed, and then I will contact, I will put it online, the uh, test results when I get them, and let you all know, and we'll go from there. But, oh, I wish I would have just shut up because I just heard something out there. Anyways, there's a... Uh, yeah, you got a picture of one, too, remember? Yeah, I'm going to post a picture that I got of one when I was talking to Duke today. We were sitting there talking on the phone, and I saw movement out in the woods straight ahead of me, which is where usually where Peanut is, and so I zoomed in and took a shot and got a facial shot of somebody back there. No clue who he was or she was, but I did get a facial shot, so 
yeah, I will try to post zooms that. It, you can see it. Yeah, I did take a picture of the zoom part. Yeah, good. And you can see it on the on the right hand side of the picture. You can see the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So um, I'll upload that tonight. I think it was blue eyes, wasn't it? I couldn't tell. It Ryan kinda... in the rain. Danny. <laughs> You're, that a, song. you're a nutcase, you know I love that. that song. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways. <laughs> Laughter is medicine to the bones. Well, it absolutely is. You got, you know, like I said, never give up, never give in, you give it to the Lord. You know, it's not going to kill me. Another thing I want to leave with y'all. I quit saying, uh, have a blessed day or have a great day and what i say now basically is peace be unto you and that's the last thing i will say because god says you know that he gives us his peace you know peace i leave with you his peace he leaves with us and that's what we all need right now is peace we need hope and we need peace yes. so that's something that this family is full of hope and peace uh, Faith is the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Absolutely. Oh, can you move that before I hurt it? Burn it? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I did what I was told to do or asked to do, so none of y'all that called me can yell at me now. <laughs> God bless you all. I love you very much. Have an awesome day, and I will contact you tomorrow. Okay? Much love and hugs. Bye.